In the pantheon of iconic X-Men characters, Jean Grey stands out as a figure of immense power and complexity. As one of the founding members of the mutant superhero team, Jean has long been revered as a paragon of virtue, a telepath and telekinetic whose compassion and heroism have inspired generations of fans. However, the question stands, is Jean Grey a villain? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. At the heart of Jean Grey's duality lies her connection to the Phoenix Force, a cosmic entity of immense power and destructive potential. When Jean has been possessed by the Phoenix, her abilities have been amplified to almost godlike level, granting her the power to manipulate matter, energy, and even the fabric of reality itself. This taste of absolute power has on multiple occasions led Jean to the brink of villainy. In the iconic Dark Phoenix saga, Jean's transformation into the Dark Phoenix resulted in the destruction of an entire solar system, an act that shook the very foundations of the X-Men universe. This event, in which Jean's heroic nature was overwhelmed by the Phoenix's insatiable hunger, serves as a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in wielding such immense power. Research suggests that Jean's struggles with the Phoenix Force are not merely a one-time occurrence, but rather a recurring theme that has the potential to push her towards the path of villainy. The very nature of the Phoenix, with its dual aspects of creation and destruction, presents a constant temptation for Jean, one that she must continually fight to keep in check. Psychological Fragility and the Lure of the Dark Side Throughout the X-Men comics, Jean's encounters with the Phoenix Force hasn't always been peaceful. The most infamous example is the Dark Phoenix Saga, where Jean succumbs to the Entity's influence transforming into a cosmic destroyer responsible for the destruction of a civilization. This event serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of Jean losing control of the Phoenix power. Beyond the influence of the Phoenix Force, search results also point to Jean's own psychological fragility as a potential catalyst for her descent into villainy. As a powerful telepath, Jean has often been forced to confront the darkest corners of the human mind, and this exposure has left her vulnerable to the lure of the dark side. The episode in the Ultimate Comics universe, where Jean is portrayed as a zealot following the death of her friend, Friends, serves as the prime example of how Jean's emotional turmoil and trauma can push her towards more villainous actions. This indicates that Jean struggles with her own inner demons, combined with her immense power, creating a volatile cocktail that could potentially lead her down a path of darkness and destruction. The manipulation of those around her. Another factor that has been raised in the search results is the notion that Jean Grey may subconsciously or even consciously manipulate the emotions and perceptions of those around her, using her telepathic abilities to sway others to her will. This idea, while controversial, suggests that Jean's heroic persona may be a carefully crafted facade, masking a more calculating and self-serving nature. If true, this manipulation of those closest to her, including her fellow X-Men and even her romantic partners, could be seen as a form of villainy in itself, as Jean would be exploiting the trust and loyalty of those who care for her. This indicates that this potential for manipulation is a concerning aspect of Jean's character that has not been fully explored or addressed within the X-Men narrative. This also highlights the inherently difficulty in writing a character as complex and multifaceted as Jean Grey. As one Redditor points out, Jean is often portrayed as either a maternal woman who is always right in her ways, a strong woman on the verge of mental instability, or the most powerful being in the galaxy who is also evil incarnate. This challenge in crafting a cohesive and consistent portrayal of Jean Grey may contribute to the perception that she could potentially become a villain. This also suggests that some writers have struggled to reconcile the various aspects of Jean's personality, leading to narrative inconsistencies that could be interpreted as a descent into villainy. The enduring debate and the future of Jean Grey. The search results make it clear that the question of whether Jean Grey is villain or hero is an ongoing topic of debate and speculation among X-Men fans and critics. While the consensus seems to be that Jean remains a fundamentally heroic character, the potential for her to succumb to the darker impulses hinted at her history cannot be ignored. As the X-Men franchise continues to evolve and explore new narrative directions, the search results suggest that the duality of Jean's great character will likely remain a central point of interest and discussion. Whether she ultimately embraces her heroic nature or succumbs to the lore of villainy remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, Jean Grey's complex and multifaceted persona will continue to captivate and intrigue X-Men fans for years to come. Jean Grey's connection to the Phoenix Force creates a constant tension between her heroic nature and the potential for immense destruction. While the possibility of her becoming a villain remains a chilling prospect, her unwavering dedication to using her powers for good suggests she will continue to fight the darkness within. Jean Grey's story serves as a powerful reminder of the responsibility that comes with the immense power and the constant struggle to maintain control and prevent oneself from becoming the very thing they fight against. For now, she remains a hero, but one forever walking a tightrope between light and darkness. The Origins of Storm's White Eyes 
The origins of Storm's wide eyes can be traced back to her first appearance in the pages of Giant Size X-Men No. 1 in 1975, where she was introduced as a new member of the team. It was in this seminal issue that readers were first treated to the sight of Aurora Monroe's eyes, shifting to a brilliant opaque white as she harnessed her mutant abilities. According to research, this visual cue was the brainchild of legendary X-Men artist Dave Cockrum, who envisioned Storm's eyes as a physical manifestation of her connection to the forces of nature. As Cockrum explained himself, the way I see it, when Storm uses her powers, her eyes turn white because she's tapping into the energies of the earth. It's like she's seeing the world in a different way, through the eyes of the goddess. This concept of Storm's eyes reflecting her divine elemental powers has become a core aspect of the character's visual identity, setting her apart from the other mutants and cementing her status as a force to be reckoned with. The symbolic significance of the white eyes, beyond the practical purpose of signaling the activation of Storm's powers, the research suggests that the white eyes hold deeper symbolic significance within the X-Men mythos. As the descendant of an ancient line of African priestesses, Storm's connection to the natural world and the divine feminine is a crucial part of her identity. When Storm Storm's eyes shift to their luminous, otherworldly hue. It's a visual cue that she's tapping into her ancestral heritage and the mystical energies that flow through her. The white eyes become a physical manifestation of her role as a conduit for the forces of nature, a living embodiment of the goddesses that her people have revered for generations. This symbolic resonance has only grown stronger over the years, as Storm has taken on a more prominent leadership role within the X-Men. Her white-eyed gaze has become a symbol of her authority her unwavering determination, and her commitment to protecting both her fellow mutants and the natural world they inhabit. But the significance of Storm's eyes extend beyond the purely symbolic. Research indicates that this visual transformation also serves a practical purpose, granting the weather-wielding mutant enhanced senses and perception. When her eyes turn white, Storm is able to see the world in a different way, perceiving the flow of energy and the currents of the elements that are invisible to the naked eye. This heightened awareness allows her to more precisely control and manipulate the weather, making her an even more formidable force on the battlefield. Moreover, the white eyes are often accompanied by a surge in Storm's mutant abilities, as she taps into the full extent of her power to unleash the devastating lightning strikes, torrential downpours, and other weather-based attacks. In these moments, the piercing gaze of the goddess becomes a harbinger of the storm to come, a warning to her enemies on the raw power she commands, beyond the comics, artistic license, and character design. The decision to depict Storm with white eyes in some media adaptations, like cartoons or video games, might be purely aesthetic. It could be a stylistic choice by the creators to make her appear more more powerful or intimidating when using her abilities. The white eyes create a stark contrast with her dark skin and blue hair, drawing attention to her face and emphasizing her focus. Storm's initial comic book appearance in the 1960s consistently depicted her with blue eyes. The white eyes weren't introduced until later issues, and even then, their use wasn't always consistent. This inconsistency suggests that the white eyes weren't originally intended as a core part of her character design. The enduring legacy of Storm's white eyes. As the X-Men franchise has evolved over the decades, Storm's wide eyes have remained a constant and iconic visual element, a signature that has become as recognizable as Wolverine's adamantium claws or Cyclops' optic blasts. The search results suggest that this enduring visual motif has contributed to Storm's status as one of the most beloved and influential X-Men characters of all time. Her white-eyed gaze has become a symbol of her strength, her resilience, and her unwavering commitment to the cause of mutant rights and human-mutant coexistence. Whether she's leading the X-Men into battle, confronting her enemies, or simply using her power Powers to protect the innocent. Storm's white eyes have become a rallying cry, a reminder of the immense power that lies within her and the responsibility she bears as a guardian of the natural world. In the ever-evolving tapestry of the X-Men mythos, Storm's white eyes have become a defining feature, a visual shorthand that instantly evokes the power and majesty of this iconic mutant heroine. From the origins as a creative choice by the legendary Dave Cockrum to their current status as a symbol of Storm's divine connection to the forces of nature, these luminous orbs have become an integral part of the character's identity, a physical manifestation of the goddess within. As the X-Men continues to captivate audiences across various media, the piercing gaze of Storm will undoubtedly remain a constant, a reminder of the enduring appeal of this powerful and complex mutant hero. For in the end, the wide eyes of the goddess are not just a visual flourish, but a testament to the indomitable spirit and the unwavering determination that has made Storm one of the most iconic and beloved X-Men of all time. Magneto's bold look in X-Men 97 isn't just a fashion statement. It's a declaration of power and purpose that speaks volumes about the upcoming series. As the master of magnetism, the prince of polarity, 
and the mangler of metal. Magneto has always embodied strength and sophistication, but with this revamped costume, he's taking his iconic style to a whole new level. A sleeveless shirt adorned with a striking M down the front, paired with the matching cape, sleek spandex, gloves, and boots. It's a look that screams confidence and command, befitting a mutant of Magneto's caliber. While mere mortals might struggle to pull off such a daring ensemble, Magneto effortlessly owns it with the swagger of a true style god. But there's more to Magneto's makeover than meets the eye. Behind the flashy exterior lies her deeper symbolism, hinting at the journey that awaits in X-Men 97. As Magneto strides onto the screen in his revamped attire, he's signaling a shift in the dynamics of power and allegiance within the mutant world. His attire isn't just about fashion. It's about staking his claim as a force to be reckoned with, a leader whose influence will shape the course of events to come. So, while the internet may be ablaze with chatter about Magneto's striking new look, what surprised so many people was the first look at Magneto's redesigned costume. Instead of the intimidating crimson and purple helmet, cloak, and bodysuit, he's wearing a much more heroic costume. That, my friends is exactly the point, because Magneto was not the villain, but the hero of X-Men 97. To understand the implications of Magneto's new costume, you have to understand where the show left off. In the finale of X-Men's fifth season, Charles Xavier had been attacked on national television, and he was dying from the psychic assault. His only chance at survival was for Lalandra to get him treated by her people within the Shi'ar Empire. The catch was that Xavier would live but only if he remained with the Shi'ar. The ending left the X-Men without their namesake and leader. In the episode's closing scene, we see them standing alongside Magneto, who had come to see his old friend. It left fans with no closure until now. Marvel announced that X-Men 97 was already getting a second season, which is meant to feel like season six and seven of the 1992 original. It'll pick up where X-Men the animated series left off, with Magneto standing with the X-Men, and that is why he has a new costume. With Xavier clinging to life in space and the X-Men turning to Magneto, this is the perfect costume for Eric Lenscher, created by the legendary artist John Romita Jr. Magneto first wore the suit in 1985's Uncanny X-Men number 200. At this time, Claremont took the villain on a new route by having him join the X-Men and soon thereafter assuming the role of headmaster at Xavier's School of Gifted Youngsters. To commemorate the occasion, he sported a new look that showed off his ripped arms and an excessively large letter M on the chest. The ensemble is complete with evening gloves that were fashionable for the time. It wasn't the happiest of occasions. At the same time that he rocked a new look, he was being captured by Freedom Force. The government-sponsored villains had apprehended Magneto and thus began the trial of Magneto. This was all foretold in Marvel Comics last year, when the editorial staff dusted off the concept for another round of the trial of Magneto, who was accused of murdering Scarlet Witch in an unforgettable story. As the 85 story goes, Magneto's heroic ascent began with Secret Wars. When the Beyonder abducted the heroes and villains of Earth-616, the all-powerful cosmic god sorted his living action figures into two piles, heroes and villains, naturally. It was a revelatory moment of Magneto, as he was placed with the heroes, because the Beyonder saw that M's goals were selfless, since he wanted to protect mutant kind. When they all returned to Earth, it made Magneto rethink his choices. In the end, he joined the X-Men and became the school's headmaster. That's when he got a new suit to mark the change in character. So what do you think? Is Jean Grey hero or villain? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Welcome to the Fighterverse.